As businesses really look to go mobile, there's really a couple things that IT needs to do in order to enable that mobility. And the new mobile environment really requires a unification of networks. So not just wired and wireless, but also a whole host of networks. And the idea behind how to unify those networks clearly creates new security requirements as well. Now also, enterprises are dealing with how to manage a wave of mobile devices. So the iPhone is, is probably the latest and greatest example, but certainly uh, wireless connected endpoints, medical devices, and the like. Managing and securing those devices can be quite a challenge as well. Now finally, how to extend applications out to the breadth of those devices across multiple networks all three of these elements really come together to, to paint that new mobile business environment. Now security as it relates to these elements is of key concern and how we actually can go about and secure an environment really requires IT to look at a, an information centric view towards security as opposed to a perimeter centric view for security. Uh, so that's really probably the key change here that businesses need to, to go through. So wireless is really a medium that uh, many organizations don't fully understand in the sense that they don't necessarily have trained resources that are RF or radio frequency experts. And so gaining visibility into that RF environment is critical. In fact, many businesses really need to change the way they view wireless technologies as viewing it as an asset that their business owns and understanding that this environment within their facility is a corporate asset and does need to be secured and managed much in the same way that they do that with their wired network. We see a host of emerging uh, attacks or problems that may arise in the wireless environment, things like man-in-the-middle attacks or rogue access points. Uh, or even spoofing attacks or denial of service attacks that can originate from that wireless frequency environment uh, and unless the business is actively monitoring for those types of attacks uh, they may miss them and in fact uh, unless they're actively managing that that medium as well chances are that someone else may be using that environment and oftentimes to the detriment uh, to the business itself Yeah, it's really critical that IT look for tools that enable them to have visibility into the broad varieties of, of networks that they're supporting. So again, uh, having tools that allow them to go out and scan the radio frequency environment to monitor for attacks, to detect attacks, to classify them, and then to locate where they are. These types of tools exist today and are critical in terms of protecting that, that radio frequency environment. But beyond that, increasingly organizations are going to need to look to uh, centralize that functionality, be able to provide visibility uh, across a variety of networks and also into a variety of different applications. So you can imagine a scenario where an organization that's using RFID technologies would also need to detect for anomalies within that environment, uh, within the RF RFID environment, and correlate those back to uh, occurrences that may be happening in the wired network or the wireless network. Now increasingly also having a view into non-Wi-Fi spaces. So think of things like microwave ovens, Bluetooth, uh, cordless phones, all of these radio frequency technologies that potentially could be a means for attack into the business need to be considered as well in terms of our broader security view. So looking at tools that allow us to sense and monitor a broader variety of networks, wired, wireless, and others, uh, and then provide information back to a central management console to allow us to actually effectively take action and mitigate the attacks before they cause significant damage. IT really needs to consider tools uh, also that allow them to provision consistent user policies for any type of mobile employee. Now if you think about it, mobility is not just about connecting into one network alone, but really the ability to move across networks. So from a wireless network into a wired network into a VPN scenario through remote access, for example. Now IT needs to look at tools that allow them to provision consistent uh, authentication and authorization policies for those users. The concept of role aware connectivity for individual users allowing them to maintain a consistent persona or a consistent identity as they move throughout the network. Um, now this is going to become increasingly important as these networks unify and come together that uh, you know, IT be able to provision that from a consistent single uh, vantage point and allow users really a seamless experience across a multitude of different types of networks.